Well, hey, everyone, and welcome to the Crossway Podcast. My name is Josh, uh, and today I wanted to follow up. So I actually had the privilege uh, a couple weeks back of speaking to our congregation on a Sunday morning, uh, and the message that I uh, shared with everyone was a message on the importance of caring for and developing uh, the Christian mind. And we sort of looked at um, the command that Jesus gave uh, as the most important command when he was asked by the Pharisees what the most important uh, most important commandment was, uh, to love God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your mind. Uh, and a lot of what I did was talk about why that matters, why it's important that we value caring for our intellect as Christians. Um, and I talked I talked a lot about some of the consequences, I think, that we can already see in our society and among our, our young Christians um, about why uh, caring for or failing to care for our intellect can really have some devastating consequences. Uh, and I talked about particularly with our younger students as they're walking away from the faith in more and more numbers and um, uh, from a very young age before they even get out of high school, really. And so today I wanted to sort of follow up a little bit, but just very quickly uh, on that and, and um, <clears throat> just highlight some of the questions that a lot of kids actually have and some of the things that I think that they find go unanswered in their life, uh, just to sort of bring it to the, the forefront uh, of, uh, of our minds as Christians that we can be thinking about and communicating and being in dialogue with these kids uh, about some of these issues. And then I also wanted to highlight uh, really three organizations that I have found to be really helpful uh, in uh, gaining access to resources uh, and um, ideas and books, writings, podcasts, all sorts of things um, on some of these tougher questions. Uh, so before we actually look at those organizations, though, uh, some of the things I, in the message that I gave, I referenced uh, some studies that had been um, done really in 2019 or, or late 2018, uh, 2019, and some of it from 2020 during the COVID uh, situation about people who were walking away from the faith and some of the bigger issues, specifically kids, some of the bigger issues they had. Um, and a lot of the questions and, and unanswered questions that the kids communicated that they had that really unsettled them uh, and that really so sort of sat at bedrock for them, at least in what they say, were the reasons as to why they could no longer accept um, the Christian faith as the truth. Uh, had to do with science and its relationship to their faith and its relationship to what the Bible says. Uh, and then, uh, so that, that played a big role and was a big theme. And also the problem of evil and suffering. Uh, and that is how can, uh, if, if God is real and he is all loving and he is all good and he is all powerful, how can he allow uh, the world to be the way that it is? And as we know, the world is full of evils and um, uh, seemingly pointless suffering, uh, and not just human evils, but also natural evils like hurricanes and natural disasters and things like that. And so those were really two of the biggest themes that were recurring in people who um, claimed to walk away from the faith. Uh, there was also some things about uh, church feeling accepted at church or feeling understood uh, at church. But I think those were actually really tied to these other more deeper uh, and more significant issues that they were found to have about science and its relationship to their faith and their understanding uh, and the Bible and also this problem of suffering and evil. Now, uh, we have actually on this podcast uh, talked about some of these issues in fairly um, in a fairly good length. And so I want to refer you back to some of those podcasts. You can find them. Um, on Spotify or, or on our Facebook page or YouTube channel. If you want to go and look for some of those kinds of topics, we try to engage, at least in the podcast, as, as, as uh, briefly as we can about some of those things. But instead of actually going into the weeds about those uh, subjects right now, I think I'd rather just point you to some resources um, that you can access as a Christian that talk about all of this stuff. Because under the umbrella of those 
categories of science and of evil and all of the all of those things sits a whole ton more questions that I think would really be impossible to try and navigate all at once. And I think these are the kinds of questions that that should be a part of your regular um, spiritual growth habits and trying to reflect on, understand, struggling with in your own life and, and coming to some satisfa satisfactory answers and explanations, not even just for others, but for yourself. Um, so I want to highlight a couple of uh, organizations that can really help you do this in, in, in really great ways. And the first um, is uh, an organization called Reasonable Faith. Uh, Reasonable Faith. Um, and they have a website that you can go to, reasonablefaith.org. And on this website, they have loads and loads of resources for you to access, from a podcast uh, that is just a podcast on uh, issues that are, that are uh, happening in our culture and how we as Christians should be thinking about and talking about these kinds of issues. Um, there is a podcast that's called the Defenders Podcast, which is actually uh, basically the equivalent, really, uh, of a whole uh, d degree track of in theology, uh, essentially. It is years and years worth of Sunday school classes from uh, the um, uh, philosopher and theologian Dr. William Lane Craig, who this whole organization is really, uh, it highlights his work, the Reasonable Faith uh, is, the, is the highlighted work of Dr. William Lane Craig. Um, and so he is the primary uh, author and uh, creator of the content on this website. And so this Defenders podcast uh, is actually his Sunday school class that he teaches at Johnson Ferry Baptist Church, which is in uh, Georgia. Uh, actually, me and my wife are from Georgia, and we have attended his class in person. And, and it's really good, and all of those classes are on this website also. And, and there's also um, uh, debates, many, many debates that can be watched between Dr. William Lane Craig and uh, other uh, philosophers that are atheist um, or agnostic. Uh, and so there's loads of debates to be watched on different topics like the existence of God or the problem of evil uh, and suffering. And so you, it's a great way for you to get uh, planned, thought out, uh, and a, a good formatted content from both sides so that you can hear uh, what people have to say on all sides uh, of the debate. Uh, there's also some various other lectures and interviews uh, panels, things like that, and then uh, a bunch of written articles and things uh, like that. There's also um, some animated videos, a series of animated videos that we actually use uh, here. We've well, Chandler and I, our youth pastor, have used here at Crossway um, to to talk about a lot of these arguments for the existence of God or the problem of evil, uh, the meaning of life, and how we can think about and talk about those things. Uh, and so there's just a lot of great resources on here, and there's constant there's a constant influx of new content coming out on a weekly, sometimes daily basis uh, on this website. So this is a really great uh, resource for you to use if you want to uh, be in constant exploration of some of these deeper issues uh, that really revolve around the existence of God, uh, about why we should believe Jesus was who he said he was, and, and the issues that people might have with Christianity um, or the existence of God. So reasonablefaith.org, a great place uh, to go if you are interested uh, in learning uh, and, and having access to some free resources to think about these things more deeply. Uh, another uh, resource that I use and, and really love um, th that really just covers the whole gamut of uh, things to think about about Christianity, not anything in particular, is a YouTube channel called Capturing Christianity. Uh, Capturing Christianity. So, um, Capturing Christianity is run by uh, basically somebody like you or I, uh, Cameron Bertuzzi is his name, uh, and he is just a YouTuber, but he brings on uh, on a regular basis and has great relationships with philosophers, theologians, uh, academics, popular uh, authors like Lee Strobel uh, and, and people like that. And he will bring them onto his YouTube channel uh, and have really long substantive discussions about different things, all sorts of things. 
Um, so he may bring on Lee Strobel and talk to him for two hours or so about how Christians should think about and, and communicate their faith with others. Or uh, so he's just there's just a or, or he'll set up dialogues between two different scholars uh, that maybe oppose each other and 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 uh, you know have a two hour long dialogue with them and sort of be, play the moderator role. But his channel has become really popular, uh, capturing Christianity. And if you're watching this, you could see in the banner of uh, his channel, it says, by the way, Christianity is true. And I actually have a t-shirt that I purchased from his ministry, the Capturing Christianity ministry that I love to wear all the time uh, that says, by the way, Christianity is true. But anyway, that's sort of the, the, the model of his YouTube channel is talking about the different facets of, of Christianity and um, how, we, how we should think about them as Christians, what we should be open about, what are, what are things we shouldn't be open about, and talking with all of these scholars and bringing them on. It's another great resource, I think, uh, that is constantly creating new content uh, on a weekly basis, if not daily basis, uh, just like the Reasonable Faith website. So Capturing Christianity on YouTube, that'd be a great resource for you to look at, another place where you can go regularly to sort of incorporate this type of reflection and thinking uh, into your spiritual life. And then the last resource that I want to mention uh, is uh, a little bit more uh, specific to science and how it relates to the Bible and how it relates to our faith, and that is uh, Reasons to Believe Dot or, or, well, Reasons to Believe is the name of the ministry. The website is reasons.org, reasons.org. And so this um, is really a great resource. There's a lot of scientists and scholars on their team that are doing constant work in biology. And so they're, the conversation around evolution and uh, creation and all of those things being related to each other is, is a, constantly being had in this ministry, um, age of the earth, that kind of stuff. Uh, also, new developments in science that are coming out, they're very relevant. Uh, so, as you know, science is constantly going through change, and uh, new discoveries are constantly being made. Um, and so, uh, reasons to believe this organization has a team of scientists that are constantly staying up to date with scientific discoveries and the philosophical and theological implications that may surround those things. Um, and so reasons.org is another great resource, uh, I think, specifically when it comes to trying to uh, think about the scientific uh, aspect of, of life and, and work that's going on in the world and relating it to our faith and relating it to our, uh, um, the, what the Bible says and our understanding of Scripture. Uh, and this, this is really... Um, it's just a combined effort, I think, of a bunch of different scholars and scientists. And so reasons.org, another place to go uh, to really think deeply about science, its relationship to the Bible, uh, and its relationship to our faith. Um, and so those are just a couple of resources that, that can get you started. This is by no means an extensive list. Uh, there are a lot more uh, organizations that are doing this exact kind of thing. Um, but these would be great places for you to constantly be connected with, to constantly access. All of this is free uh, resources for Christians like you and I to be able to be engaging with and having this sort of content regularly in our life. Um, and so uh, the, the, the three organizations that I highlighted, again, are just Reasonable Faith, and you can find them at reasonablefaith.org. Uh, the YouTube channel, Capturing Christianity, and you can just uh, search for that channel on, on YouTube and it'll come up. Lots of great content there. And then Reasons to Believe, uh, which is more uh, this sort of group of uh, hands-on scientists that are working in scientific fields, relating it to our faith, and you can find them at reasons.org. Um, and like I said, there's plenty more resources for you to be able to access, but the, 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 listen, really the goal that I think that you should be setting for yourself, and really what I challenged uh, our congregation to do in the, in the message that I gave, is to make this a part of your regular uh, interactive habits. When you're thinking about God, when you do your devotional time, when you're spending time throughout the week um, gr trying to grow your relationship with God, make this kind of stuff a part of it. Um, because, the, like I said, the truth is kids 
are already doing that, or at least they're attempting to do it. And if it's missing from the, the, the lives of Christians around them, uh, or if it's missing from the church that they're participating in, uh, then they just, they just convince themselves that it does this kind of thoughtfulness in, in people's Christian faith and in their Christian walk just doesn't exist. Uh, and that makes them very, it makes it very distasteful to them because this is a part of who we are as people. Like I've said, that we want to uh, be thoughtful about the things that we believe. We want to be thoughtful about uh, the way that we live our lives. We don't want to be gullible and we don't want to be uh, considered to be foolish. Uh, and, and I don't think that those things are an accurate representation of what it means to be a Christian. So, uh, just wanted to reiterate some of the things I said in my message and to provide you with some more avenues of being able to accomplish, accomplish these things uh, in, in a regular part of your spiritual development uh, and your spiritual growth on a regular basis. So, check out some of those websites. Go look for some other uh, resources also. There's a lot of them out there, a lot of good books. Um, Feel free if anybody uh, is looking for more resources or resources on anything specific, you can feel free to contact me. Uh, you can email me at josh at crosswaychurch.com. Uh, this is an area uh, of Christianity I am very passionate about, uh, mainly because I saw this gap in my life and realized the impact it was having on my relationship to the people around me, especially those who didn't know Jesus. And it's been uh, very awakening for me and m made me very bold in, in uh, communicating the gospel message with others and trying to get a handle on this on my own life. So feel free to message me, josh at crosswaychurch.com, if you have uh, any questions or you're looking for any resource in particular about something specific, uh, I'll be happy to help. Well, thanks, guys, for listening. Uh, if you are interested in hearing the message that uh, was spoken on this particular topic, you can find it on our YouTube channel or our Facebook page. If you want more episodes of the podcast, you can get them at, on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, any of your favorite streaming platforms. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.